Let's go ahead and take a look at the curve tool in Houdini. We're gonna create a cup using the curve tool. So let's go ahead and open new scene. If you come over here in the create tab, you can see we have a curve tool. So if I click on that, you see we created a curve node and I have a hint here showing me some shortcuts like the F G H. So if you hit F on the keyboard, you see we are in the edit Bezier mode. And if I hit G, I am in the draw mode and H in the auto Bezier. We're gonna hit G for now. And let's go ahead and split the viewport to four views, holding a space and B on the keyboard. And then I'm going over the right view or front view, doesn't matter. And holding again a space and B to go inside that. So if I click somewhere, you see I created a point. If I click another place, we created a line. And you'll notice the lines are sharp. If you hold the left mouse button and click, you see I am creating tangent point. If you hold A on the keyboard and you see now we can create an arc. Nice. And now if you want to edit the points, you can hit F on the keyboard. Now we are in the Bezier curve. So now I can click and drag and move my points where I want to. And if I want to go ahead and continue drawing, I can hit G again. Now I am inside the draw mode and you need to select the last point and then click and drag. If you select the select tool or let's say the move tool, as you see now the tool handle is a gun. You can go back by selecting the curve and click on the handle tool. Now I am inside the curve tool. So let's go ahead and delete everything. You can delete the points, select them and delete them, or you can click on the reset operation. So let's go ahead and draw a curve. I am inside the draw mode. I'm going to click somewhere here and click and drag click and drag click and drag and let's go to the center as you see it's difficult for me to center the point at zero zero so i can use the snapping tool so if i click on that so now houdini will help me to snap it at the center so if i click and drag we created the point at the center let's go ahead and turn off that and i can go back and change the uh, curve by hitting F on the keyboard and let's go ahead and change them. Here you have some shortcuts like smoothing the points, creating handles or merge them. Let's see. Okay. So now let's go ahead and create a revolve node. Revolve to revolve it on Y. Let's go to the perspective view to see it better. And we need to change the divisions to make it smoother, as you see. And another thing I want to change is the primitive uh, type. So this is going to give us smoother result when we extrude it or adding uh, thickness to the surface. So because Houdini is procedural, we can go back to the curve and we can edit it. As you see in the perspective view, it's difficult to edit that. You can edit that by right clicking and choosing point, for example. And if I go ahead now, if I click on that, let's select the move tool. So as you see, when I click on that, we created an edit node but let's delete that and let's go to the revolve node and select the curve and let's go to the front view and let's see the handle tool now we need to edit that from the front view because we don't see the manipulator in the perspective view that's why it's difficult to edit that from here 
So let's go ahead and make some adjustments like moving the point up. And change the handle too. You can select the curve and then hit on the template to see the cup in wireframe. This is better. So let's add a thickness. Let's go back to the perspective view, space and B. And let's go ahead and add extrude. Poly extrude. And we can increase the distance to the outside or inside, to the outside. And you see we have an empty interior. We can add a thickness by going down and click on output back. And now let's smooth the edges here. We can click on select and right click there and edge. Let's double click on the edge to select them and shift and double click on the next loop. Add now your mouse in the viewport, this is important, and hit tab and type poly bevel. So if I go up, you see here we have all the edges that we selected. So now we can go to the distance and change that. And we can add subdivisions here too. Now let's go ahead and create the handle. We can go again, space and V to the front view, and let's go ahead and click again on the curve tool. And as you see, we don't see the cup. We can click on the template to see it. So let's click somewhere here. And I'm going to click there and drag. And now if I hold A, we get this nice arc. So let's hit enter on the keyboard and let's go back to the perspective view. And now if I go ahead and add poly wire, as you see, nothing happens because we need to resample the curve. Let's add a node called resample. This is going to add points and resample the curve. So let's go ahead now to the poly wire. As you see, we created the polygons. Let's go to the poly wire and change the radius from here. And I can add subdivisions too. And now let's merge them. Let's click on the poly bevel template to hide that. And let's click on the merge. And as you see, we have some issues there. You can edit the curve from here and move the points. But I want to show you another thing. Let's type curve. We can adjust the curve by this node. So let's go and see that from the front view. Let's hit W on the keyboard to see the wireframe. So now, as you see, I can adjust that. So powerful. And if you click on the second U, you can adjust the last point too. It's a cool way to adjust the uh, curve. Let's go back there. Hit W on the keyboard. I see we have the checkboard texture on the cup, and that's because of this icon here so you can click on that to turn it off 